Welcome. This is Prophecy of the Coming Messiah, Part 1. One might ask, where does the idea of Messiah originate in the Bible? This prophecy comes from the prophet Moses, who, in Deuteronomy 18, foresees the one whom Elohim promised. Moses says, The Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet like me, from among you, from your brothers. It is to him you shall listen. Just as you desired of the Lord your God at Horeb, on the day of the assembly when you said, Let me not hear again the voice of the Lord my God, or see this great fire any more, lest I die. And the Lord said to me, They are right in what they have spoken. I will raise up for them a prophet like you from among their brothers, and I will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak to them all that I command him. What is said here gives us the picture of a future person in Elohim's plan to send someone who Israel will listen to and obey. Elohim would put words in his mouth and would relay Elohim's instructions just as Moses had given the instructions of the Torah. How profound is this? It is astounding that someone after Moses would become a spokesperson of instruction from Elohim and a voice of prophecy for laying out the future of the kingdom of God. We learn from the Bible that there are two functions of a prophet. The first is that they are a seer or someone who sees the future. The second function of a prophet was that of a spokesperson. In my way of looking at Moses and Aaron, certainly Moses provided the function as a seer and a miracle worker at the instructions given by Elohim. Aaron was a prophet as well as functioned much more as a spokesperson. This was well established when Moses claimed that he did not have the gift of speaking eloquently, but the nation of Israel Elohim then passed this duty on to Aaron, who provided the mouthpiece of Yahweh's instructions. In Deuteronomy 13, Elohim gives Moses the rules for listening to the people who claim to be prophets from God. If a prophet or a dreamer of dreams arises among you and gives you a sign or a wonder, and the sign of wonder that he tells you comes to pass, and if he says, let us go after other gods, which you have not known, and let us serve them, you shall not listen to the words of that prophet or that dreamer of dreams. For the Lord your God is testing you to know whether you love the Lord your God with all of your heart and with all of your soul. You shall walk after the Lord your God and fear him and keep his commandments and obey his voice and you shall serve him and hold fast to him. That's Deuteronomy chapter 13 verses 1 through 4. There is an interesting scripture that comes from Exodus chapter 7, where Yahweh speaks to Moses and is told, See, I have made you like God to Pharaoh, and your brother Aaron shall be your prophet. I have to ask, if Aaron was his prophet, then who did Moses portray? Moses was obviously the archetype figure of Moshiach. Bible scholars all agree that Moses was the greatest personage that Elohim ever used to bring Israel out of slavery to freedom. Moses was told he was like Elohim, but Moses says Yahweh will ever send someone greater in the future. Now I have a question. Did Moses' prophecy ever come true? If Moses' prophecy did not come true, then he would be a false prophet. Is Moses a false prophet? Of course not. Moses penned the Torah and worked many miracles on behalf of the people. Moses led Israel out of the wilderness to freedom. Was Moses perfect? 
Definitely not. Moses failed in several ways of being perfect, but he did see Yahweh's in, in reality, and he did talk with Elohim. His prophecy was fulfilled in one person, just as he said. A large portion of the world believes that prophecy was fulfilled and that it was just as Moses had predicted. The one who came and fulfilled this prophecy was Yeshua of Nazareth. Why was he the one? It is obvious that no other person in history has accomplished the work as a prophet as Yeshua did. He was a seer who told us of the end times. He proclaimed the kingdom of God and righteousness. He was persecuted like all the prophets and produced many miracles that could only come from Elohim. No other person in history of the world has ever exceeded the biblical prophets' accomplishments except Yeshua. Indeed, Moses' prophecy was fulfilled just as he said in the Torah by Yeshua. He fits the pattern Moses prophesied of and was the greatest prophet to have ever come to Israel. This is why he qualifies as the Moshiach of Israel, and he will return as he said he would in the power and the proper timing of God's plan. Mashiach came in his time as a prophet, the greatest prophet that ever lived, but he will return as King of Kings very soon. Please join us next time for Prophecy of the Coming Messiah. May God bless you and keep you and make His face shine upon you.